Hey, it's just me, Paula Poundstone, your new best workout buddy. I thought we'd work out together again. Uh, I think this is our fifth workout video. I can't really tell you what day it is, because I don't think we do that anymore. I think even for banking or courts, I think they just say on or about 2020. I don't think anybody's that specific any longer. You know, I read the other day that Michelle Obama said she thought she might be slightly depressed. Really? Just slightly? Wow. She's doing great. I'd kill to be only slightly depressed. All right, I have a story for you, but we'll start with uh, some sideways, they're called sit-ups, but they're not sit-ups at all. You'll notice, because I won't be sitting up. Um, all right, Mo, I need you to jump up. Mo, jump up. No, that's jump over. All right, wait, uh, I'll move this cat. Uh, it's called a cat lift. You want to do it with your back straight. There you go. Um, this is my cat, Oreo. Uh, it's perpetually in the way and it turns out we think she went blind um, she still seems to function okay um, and I don't know a lot about blindness except for uh, I grew up in the 70s and every cop show in the 70s towards their last season the, the main cop uh, went blind temporarily so uh, I'm just going to put Officer Oreo over here. Um, that crunching sound is my dog Mo uh, chewing on his bone, which uh, I shall now move. Mo, I need you to move. There you go. Uh-oh, dark light. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, uh, so you're going to reach and touch. You can touch your heels. Um, you really actually shouldn't have your neck up curled like that, uh, cause it hurts your neck after a while. So you're going to go like that, right? Not too hard. Um, you can stretch farther and touch, you know, your toes or the sides of your feet, but you get the idea. Um, all right. So last weekend I decided I was going to go protest in Portland. So, uh, uh, it's, a 15 hour drive from where I live and uh, I wanted to, the feds, the feds were already gone. Uh, I, I had been told, of course, wait and see, of course. But, um, so I made this decision that I was gonna go do that. And I, uh, I talked to a friend of mine about it on the phone and she said, well, you know, you can't use the bathrooms anymore on the way on the way up, she said, you know, they, they don't let you use the bathrooms anymore because of the virus. So, uh, what do you think? Is that enough of those? Maybe. I didn't really count. I never really count. Um, hold on. Okay, now we're going to do a chair exercise. All right, so uh, I went and got a chair, by the way, and we edited it. So don't think you're fucked up. Don't you think like, how did I not see that chair before? Went and got it. Um, I didn't think you needed to see the part where I went and got it. I thought we could just have faith in one another. I believe in you. All right, so uh, I don't think I do this right, but I'll show you what I do anyways. So I put my feet out. Uh, I hold the chair this way. Um, you know, like G.I. Joe used to do, uh, except I grip the chair. Um, and then just that, just down and up. It's an arm exercise. You can also, you know, squeeze your butt and squeeze your abs. Uh, always engage your core. All right, so, so my friend told me there were no bathrooms on the way from here to Oregon. So I decided I would get adult diapers. And uh, 
So I tell this to my daughter, and she is appalled. Not that I was going to protest, but that I was going to use adult diapers. Can you imagine? Uh, and, she, and she goes, Mom, why don't you just pee on the side of the road? How come you don't just pull over and pee on the side of the road? I said, Allie, because it's a straightaway. Most of the five north is just straight through central California. I go, there is nowhere of, there's, there's no trees. It's just flat and straight. So people are going to be driving going like, isn't that Paul Poundstone peeing beside her car there? Yeah, I think it is. Looks like Paul Poundstone. How do you get the camera out? I think that's Paul Poundstone peeing beside her, beside her car right there. Uh, okay, I think that's enough of those. I'm going to put the chair over there. You don't have to watch. All right, so uh, now we're gonna do these kind of leg lifts, and then you kind of move your move your feet like that. You know what? Maybe I'll just do that. Ooh, ooh, I'm really losing the weight. Um, okay, so, all right, so you go down like this, you hold your legs a little bit off the ground, and then you go, you kick a little bit of cat and a little bit of dog and you really engage your core because otherwise the cat on your belly is gonna sink straight through to your spine. And that can require an MRI. All right, so my daughter Allie is outraged that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna drive to Portland, Oregon with adult diapers. And she says to me, she goes, well, why don't you use because I, I bought for uh, backpacking a long time ago, I, I bought what I refer to as a pee like a man device. It's this little cup that you place over yourself and then you have a, um, and then there's a tube. It's sort of like if, it's sort of like if you have a, 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 a gas, a gallon gas refill and it has that tube that goes on top of it, uh, right, for pouring. Except for you put it over yourself to pee like a man in the woods. So she says, why don't you use the pee like a man thing? And I said, because I'll still be standing beside my car. Then people are gonna drive by and go, hey, isn't that Paul Poundstone peeing beside her car? Yeah, I think it is. Wait a minute, does she have a dick? I don't remember that she had a dick. Does she have a dick? Sure does look like it. Huh, honey, get the camera. Look, Paul Poundstone has a dick and she's peeing by her car. All right, oh my God. Uh, that's, that's a good amount of those. Uh. All right, now, I think I'll get the chair again. Uh. Okay, so uh, I got the chair. Don't think it's you. I went and got the chair. Um, so I'm just gonna, the chair isn't really part of the exercise, but I don't have the greatest balance. Um, so what we're gonna do is call back lunges, uh, which is weird because we're not really lunging, just sort of moving back like that, okay? And then you bring, and then you go down and come back up again. Got it? Like that. Okay, I can't demonstrate very long because I lose my energy for actually doing it. All right, so, I decide I'm gonna wear diapers and drive to Portland, Oregon. I, I leave at 4.30 on a Thursday afternoon, um, secure with my continence tool. Well, it's really an incontinence tool. Um, so I drive and drive and drive and drive, and eventually I have to pull over to get gas. And uh, I go in, I say, can I use the bathroom? And the guy says, sure. And I'm like, yes. You know, because it's not like I really wanted to use the diaper. So I drive and drive and drive and drive some more. And eventually I think, well, I should go to, go to sleep. So first I think about staying in a hotel. I can't really afford it. So I think, well, I sleep in a hotel parking lot until and unless security comes and tells me I have to leave. And then of course, I'm not going into the hotel, and therefore, once again, I'm not going to have the use of a restroom. Let's switch sides. Uh, 
And the cat, this, this is a classic cat chairlift. Uh, you want to be very careful not to twist too hard when you do it. Um, but it's very good for your muffin tops. Uh, and mine are crayons. All right, so I pull over to a hotel. I sleep in their, uh, actually, I forgot that part. I sleep in their parking lot and I don't go in and use a bathroom because I have a diaper. But about five o'clock in the morning, I wake up and I decide, well, really, I woke up a few times in the few hours that I slept. But um, I wake up and I decide it's time to keep driving. So I still haven't peed in this diaper, if you're following this story of continents carefully. So I drive and I drive and I drive and I tell myself not to worry. I have this diaper on, it's all gonna be good. Now, honestly, I drink a lot of soda and a lot of water. And I've easily got three gallons in me. So finally I pull over, I think, okay, I really have to use the bathroom. And I tell myself, well, you can just use the diaper. I get out of the car and I realize, you know all those commercials for diapers where they show someone pouring like a little cup into the diaper and magically it absorbs? And we're all like, ooh, isn't that great? Well, I realize I have three gallons in me. It's gonna come gushing out of this diaper. So I was gonna go in to this little store slash gas station and ask if I could use their bathroom, but I'm waddling now. The slightest move and I'm gone. I'm thinking, all I can picture is me going in there and within seconds having to ask for a mop. And by the way, I only have one pair of pants. And so I'm like, okay, this is a terrible idea. So fortunately by this time, I might have been in Oregon or perhaps Northern California, but there was some woods around the parking lot. So I managed to make it down. I was actually closer to the woods than I was to the store anyways. So, I mean, I, I waddled down, engaging my core like I never have before. I was the queen of kegels. I, I waddle down. I get far enough into the woods that I feel some privacy. And I, I don't know, watch the news for this, because I created erosion in the woods somewhere near the Oregon-California border, probably on the southern side. Um, okay, uh, I think that's enough of that one. Now's my favorite part. Plank therapy. So uh, we're gonna plank, um, which is just sort of part way through a sit up really. And uh, you can be on your elbows just like that there. And uh, it's important to squeeze your core, squeeze your butt if you want to. I can't really do one without the other, frankly. I'm more of a, I'm a onesie anatomically. Um, all right, so I, I get back in the car and I continue on to Portland, Oregon. I make it there about noon that day. And uh, I go over to the courthouse. I can tell you two things. I can tell one thing is, uh, well, the, the, the real protest didn't start until about 7.30 that night. But I did a lot, a lot of walking around, and frankly, in that area, it's lots and lots of homeless people. Um, apparently, they told me that the police just cleared out a bunch of tents from the park in front of the federal building, in front of the federal courthouse that day. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what some people said. And, uh, but during the time that I was there, uh, as I say, okay, the, the, the actual protests really began to gather at about 7.30. But I saw people graffitiing earlier in the day. Uh, I, I saw one guy, for example. I had noticed some pink writing, like a paragraph, on the side of a building. 
and I was walking around later, I see the man with the pink uh, writing implement, and it's an older white guy that clearly had some mental health problems. He was talking to himself and, you know, not, not Antifa, not paid protesters, not, what's the other word? Uh, anarchists, just a guy with some problems. And uh, so anyways, I wander around, I wander around, I wander around. Finally at about 7.30, a crowd starts to gather and I go down a couple blocks away. There was another protest that marched back to the federal courthouse. Marched two blocks, it wasn't a big march. Uh, very peaceful, no cops, no feds, very peaceful. Um, but at one point, and of course we all had masks on, I had a mask on. At one point, my eyes start to burn and uh, felt kind of hard to breathe. And I'm like, oh my God, somebody's tear gassing. It's tear gas. And just before I shouted, I realized, no, it's pot. Um, pot had gone into my eyes because uh, there was a thick layer of it there. <laughs> into my eyes and, and uh, into my lungs. Um, but it wasn't, there was never any violence. Just, you know, people kicking back, enjoying their rights. And honestly, the part of the marching and the shouting, Black Lives Matter, among a group of people who want to uh, make change was a wonderful thing. All right, that's all I got. Uh, uh, oh my God. This is my cat brittle. She loves it when I plank. God.